Hello. Huh. All right, well, um, we're not open to the public yet, so I feel comfortable taking my mask off and tell you a little bit about what we have on display here at our cool Kentucky exhibit here at the Frazier. I'm Brian West, and I'm one of the employees here at the Frazier. And today I'm going to talk to you about our Kentucky Colonels display. Now, the Kentucky Colonels, for those of you who might be under the age of 30, might not be familiar to you. For those people who did grow up around here in Kentuckiana during the mid-70s um, and the late-60s, they're very familiar. The Kentucky Colonels, believe it or not, were world champions of professional basketball. Yes, as members of the American Basketball Association, which was in existence from 1967 through 1976, the Kentucky Colonels were world champions in the penultimate year of the league's existence. And they were led by many famous players, from Dan Itzel, the horse, to Louis Dampier, and Artis Gilmore. Now, the Colonels were part of an organization of the ABA. Now, many consider the ABA as a fly-by-night operation uh, because some of the teams were able to um, thrive as well as the Colonels and their neighbors up along I-65, the Indiana Paper, Pacers, also a member of the ABA. For example, the first world champions of the ABA were the Pittsburgh Pipers, led by NBA Hall of Famer Connie Hawkins. Now, after their championship year in 1967, the Pipers, for whatever reason, moved to Minneapolis, Minnesota. And this is because George Mikan, who was commissioner of the ABA at the time, thought that there should be a team in Minneapolis. But due to uh, many strange events, the Pipers were not able to be as successful in Minneapolis as they were in Pittsburgh. And they stunk up the joint so much that the investors in Minneapolis gave the team back to Pittsburgh. Now, the Colonels had much more success uh, than other ABA teams. They were able to thrive throughout the entire time of the ABA's existence. Here at the Frazier, you'll be able to see many of the displays um, showing the Colonels. Uh, jerseys worn by players like Louis Dampier. Um, also, we have a nice huge poster, life-size of Artis Gilmore, who stood over seven feet tall. Now, you'll be able to see this here at the Frazier um, during tours of our Kentucky Colonels display. Uh, I'll be leading most of those tours. And we'll be open four days a week, uh, Thursdays through Fridays, and just in time for spring break here in Jefferson County, we'll be open seven days a week from the week of March 29th through April 2nd. So please, come on down to the Frazier and enjoy a little bit of Kentucky's history, where the world meets Kentucky.